Are you tired of skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 6 constantly f in the ass? Of course you are. Unless, of course, you're voting for Kamala, then you would love to have things rammed up your ass on a regular basis. Boom. Roasted. I don't know if I should be talking about what I want to talk about in this video, but I got ways to circumvent skill-based matchmaking that are not too boxy, that are not reverse boosting, and I'm having the greatest time in my entire life. Well, that might be an overstatement. I'm having a good time playing Black Ops 6 because of this overpowered shotgun setup that I may or may not tell you about. I'm kind of debating right now while I'm doing this video live whether I should tell people about this or not, because if I tell you about this, uh, everyone's going to start ranking this gun up and try to unlock the attachments that you need to make this gun the most overpowered shotgun in the history of, well, not history of Call of Duty, but maybe it's up there with the Akimbo uh, 1882s from Modern Warfare 2, the 2007 version that got patched after about two or three days. They're not quite that OP, but they are pretty much up there with the top, top three, top three most overpowered shotguns of all time right now. But they're not as great as you think they are because of the sprint to fire time and ADS time and all that nonsense in Call of Duty Black Ops 6 right now in the desync. You still can get your ass kicked, but they are hilarious, man. And these shotguns and Black Ops 6 skill-based matchmaking are not a good mix. Water and oil. What I'm trying to say, my fellow Call of Duty elite gaming gay men athletes, you know what I'm saying? Balls deep, only halfway in. What I'm trying to say, though, is that skill-based matchmaking can't stop the power, the pain, the punishment, and the 360 wide no-scope and shotguns of doom that I'm bringing to Black Ops 6. I mean, just look at me absolutely decimate the enemy team in front of you. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe right now because Daddy, Big Daddy, Double D's, Motorboat Champion 2004-2005 back-to-back Clitoris Stimulator of the Year is out here wrecking all you nerds. You know, you're just destroying these kids and letting them know that there's a new big swing and ding -a ling on the block. They call him the King SBMM Destroying Shotgun Gaping. So what I want to talk about as well in this video is you know what? Also, if this video gets a thousand likes, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll drop it in my community notes here. This will set up this class that makes this gun that you're watching ahead of you here on this gameplay so overpowered. I will. I want a thousand, which I don't think that we're going to get to. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. If you really want to see what's going on with that shotgun, I'll let you know. If we don't get a thousand, y'all can pound sand. But I'm going to keep it real packed to steal this video. It seems that we have some issues with the skill based matchmaking. And I can tell you a hint and tip how to circumvent that. Uh, turn the power button off. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. Who's the greatest Call of Duty game and stub buff an athlete in the world on YouTube? Ghost of Vate. That's right. I got all the jokes for you guys. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to their side. Boom. Roasted. God damn. I'm dropping linguistics like I was William Shakespeare, but not the guy who stole William Shakespeare and then present himself as a false William Shakespeare. I'm talking like the real William Shakespeare. I am that guy. But skill-based matchmaking, as always, seems to be a problem. And I want to say something that, uh, you know, I was right about, that people are starting to say about Call of Duty Black Ops 6. And I said this a long time ago, and I've been saying this for a long time, uh, since Christ was a cowboy walking across the deserts in Utah, giving the tablets to Jonah Smith or Jonah Hill or something like that. I don't think he was Jewish, uh, some other guy. And then he started Brigham Young University. And then now we got a pretty decent football team there in Utah with the Mormons with their super underwear, not drinking caffeinated drinks. But big up to all the Mormons out there, all the Latter-day Saints. People like to make fun of that cult. Good people. I love them. They're very nice. Unless, of course, you're a minority and then perhaps maybe they may not like you too much. But being a white guy, they treat me pretty well. What am I talking about? I don't fucking know, guys. I really don't. But I was right about everything. And I will say this. Now people are saying that Modern Warfare 3 is so good and like way better than Black Ops 6. And all of the second half after some updates and new maps that came out after about a month rather of Modern Warfare 3, I was telling everybody, hey, guys, this game is really good. All you guys are hating on it because you know why? You can't fucking think for yourself because you're a bunch of brain-dead sheep out there who just watch a YouTube video and believe everything you're told and you agree with because you subscribe to a certain channel. If you dislike me and don't like my videos and have something wrong with what I got to say, don't suck on my dingling. Even though it's a king dingling, skill-based matchmaking, shotgun destroyer, gaping all these dweebs out here with their slide canceling, diamond camel, 15-hour-a-day grind-ass dork TikTok weirdos. 
we weirdos, weebos, weirdos, weebos. It works. Hate my videos. Hate what I got to say. Don't be a blind follower. You know, but please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, uh, donate some money. You know what I'm saying? Hit some super chats up in there and uh, help me not have to work a real job and do this for a living because it sure as hell beats uh, having to go nine to five. Don't be a hater. Be a congratulator. And I was telling everybody, Black Ops 3, 6, Black Ops 7, 5, 8, I don't know, it all melts together because shit, this all smells sort of the same, doesn't matter really where it's coming from, is not going to be the savior Call of Duty for one main reason, and that main reason is skill-based matchmaking. I said that like four or five years ago, in fact. I was saying it doesn't matter what the newest Call of Duty does, it doesn't matter how awesome it is, it doesn't matter what perks or whatever things you're excited about or the maps, it doesn't matter how great anything is when skill-based matchmaking in EOMM and as seen videos by people saying damage based matchmaking or damage hit detection or damage multipliers or diminishers depending upon how well you're doing basically they are nerfing or giving you a buff to your damage on the bullets depending upon how well you're doing I made a video about that already before everybody else because everyone copies me they copy my thumbnails they copy my titles they copy my style listen I've been here before Christ was a cowboy like I mentioned before giving the tablets to Smith out in Capitol Reef National Park in Utah starting the Mormon church you know what I'm saying I was here before everybody else doing everything you're seeing and everyone is just simply copying me and living off of the stuff that I created 15 20 years ago and everything they're saying I've already said 15 million times year after year and that once again is a skill-based matchmaking will undermine anything Call of Duty has to bring I told you Modern Warfare 3 was a great Call of Duty multiplayer game compared to everything we've had in the modern era it wouldn't be as good as Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare Real 2 back in 2000 2007 or Modern Warfare 3, the real 3 in 2009, but as far as we've had recently, it's great. And I skill-based matchmaking, the crux of the problem again we're seeing out here. But my shotgun doesn't care about skill-based matchmaking. Once again, hit the like button, a thousand likes on this video, and I will divulge the secret to one of the most broken shotguns of all time. Don't bother going looking for it because no one else knows about it. I am the only person in the entire universe of Call of Duty to know about this. Otherwise, you see a million videos up on it, but no one is because you know why? They all want to use little SMGs and slide around and act like as if they're some kind of MLG gamer with TikTok and their clan tags. But I am the only real alpha male sheriff out here. I shot the sheriff, but I wouldn't kill a deputy because the deputy's just there to try to get a job to feed his family so that he can buy some COD points to get some amazing skins in a first-person shooter where you can't even see yourself. Makes no sense to me. Doesn't make sense to you. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. I am DJ Fucka 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 Quick. I'm out of here. I'm E-I-G-H-T. I left the G in because I have the G in me, unlike MC8, who's E-I-H-T, left out the G because the G wasn't in him. What am I talking about? I'm throwing down references to rap from the 90s that none of your kids would do anything about. And you listen to shit, and you accept shit, and Call of Duty sucks. But Black Ops 6 is amazing right now until they nerf this shotgun. I'm out of here. I'm the best. What was the point of this video? I really don't know. I just wanted to get on here and showcase my shotgun skills and talk some trash and talk about skill-based matchmaking and just let everyone know that I'm the best, I'm the greatest, and I'm not the worst. Like, well, for Wednesday, you can't stop the first of the month either. I'm short dog, baby, got a good hoe, and I know how to treat her. And last but not really most importantly, what you got to do. Alex Jones here, coming in to make a substitute for the Call of Duty video here. You all need to stay black, question authority, and don't let the hockey cracker reptilian shapeshifters throw up at the moon base, spray and harp the crim trails, 9-11, definitely, 9-7-11. 9-11, I don't know, it's two less, one more. What's it make a difference? I assume as an airplane flying into a something or other that I don't want to say here for the algorithms. But you know what I'm saying? There's a Coke Tower 7. How did that drop? I don't know. ABC News talked about it 30 minutes before it actually fell. Kamala ain't going on Joe Rogan. You know why? Because if she did, she'd look like an idiot. That'd be the most exposure she's ever had in her life. But she ain't going to go on because she can't talk for more than two hours without looking like a moron and no one's going to vote for her. I can't trust that woman. They're up a Bohemian Gorge Elders flat. The moon landing was fake. Alex Jones, that's me. I'm not. Bill Hicks, I don't care what the people say. White man, bring it down.